I got my milk. I got my milk and I got two. I've kind of lost weight since I landed. And I know I talk about my weight all the time, I'm so sorry, but this is actually a journey for me. Like this is like an everyday thing I'm thinking about because I'm working hard. If I show you guys the tea, I want to like reduce all of this. Like you guys know, I think I've told you guys already that I don't really want like a flat stomach. Like I don't really care for it. I mean, if my waist gets smaller, then you know, who knows what journey will go down. I just want to get back to the place where I can like finesse it. I'm not gonna lie, so I'm sucking it in because I'm insecure. My waist has definitely gone in since like January. So I'm kind of happy. I'm in this place right now with my body. If I have two weeks where I just like kind of fall off, I'm like big, big again. Because I've always been kind of thick, but like I want to get back to a place of even if I have those two weeks, I still feel good about my body and you know. Anyways, that's that. I slept with my makeup last night. I went out on a date. I was talking to you guys about this camera angle, like how it's like not, yeah. And I'm doing it now, so that's funny. So some hours have gone by and I went out. I went out for drinks and it was super fun, you know, getting to know new people and stuff. And yeah, just like connecting and stuff like that. We bonded on so much. I told him what I did and I don't usually tell guys that I date like what I do, like from the jump. But I told him what I did and he kind of works in media as well. So he was like, like he kind of understood like the whole like content creation lifestyle, the influencer lifestyle, even though I was like persisting that I'm not an influencer, you guys know. We've had this discussion many times on my channel. I don't think I'm an influencer. Guys, I shit you not, he's a Pisces, yeah? But not only is he a Pisces, he's born on the same day as me. <laughs> that was like a thing we bonded over. But like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was super shy on the night. And I had a few drinks, like I'm, guys, I'm drunk right now. Like, no, I'm not drunk, but I'm like, I'm kind of waved. I had these juices delivered to me and I just don't understand. You know this morning when guys were talking about the milk? My milk came and the milk came with two green juices. And I just, I don't know. Alexa, play Break Even. Break Even by the script from Apple Music. trying to like share everything that I get up to with my love life and stuff because I just feel like if I'm dating someone I kind of want them to give me privacy and I want to extend that same you know privacy back yeah I went out with someone last night and it's so funny because like we had so much in common like he was like he's introverted I was like I'm introverted he was like I'm shy and I was like I'm shy we even work in like similar fields and we both moved to New York City around the same time in our lives. He's a few years older than me. So I was like, oh my God, this is so interesting. We were just like making jokes like, oh my gosh, we have so much in common. Like, it's just so funny. And then I was like, what star sign are you? Like, just to be funny, obviously, like, cause not a lot of people in general, especially men, they don't really vibe with the whole star sign thing. So I was like, what star sign are you? And he was like, Pisces. And I was like, Huh, when's your birthday? And he was like, March 13th. I was like, that's oh, my birthday. I told my friend Naya, and she was like, he probably looked you up, girl. Like, he probably looked you up, child. Like, he Jeffrey Dahmer. I was like, there's no way he would look me up because like, how would you, like, no. Like, most of the guys in the UK don't really know who I am. So like, guys over here, don't really know who I am. I love. It's more so like women, like no, like yesterday when I was before I got plucked. The girl was like, oh my gosh, you're from the UK. And I was like, yeah, I am. Hi, 
Hi. Follow me on Instagram. How are you YouTube? dude? How are you doing? I'm from the UK, right? Yeah, I am. How are you? Yeah. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Lil's are so mean to me, guys. All my days. Okay, so how can she tell me that I need to pay my rent so I can't go shopping? That's so mean. So I'm gonna get hyaluronic acid from the ordinary. Do you know what I was gonna get? My perfume. Oh, there is a queue though. Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'll come back. I'll come back tomorrow. Because only because there's a queue and I have to leave. So yeah, I came in last night. And because I went out with Yoshiro already, I was already waved. I had like two margaritas. Oh, wait, I can't see. Oh, wait, there's a puddle. Hey, come on this way. Let me guide her because she knows she's blind. I'm blind, baby. <laughs> see, that'll be $50, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, honey. Where are you going? The oh, subway. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Let me know when you get back. Let me know when you get inside of all. Please believe. Hi. Okay, so I need to get a tripod, an extension cord, and a memory card. Or maybe I need a new laptop. I did forget my old one at home. I need a tripod. And I'm like in Best Buy and I'm yeah, I'm in Best Buy now. So I'm trying to figure out which tripod to get. Say hi. Oh you can't see, sorry, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, go, go. They can't even hear you because I got the headphones in so they can't hear you. She is with me in New York, okay? She's right here with me, trotting along while I shop. Ah, okay, so Alright, so these are the three. These are the tripods here. And then there's here, look, ultimate vlogging kit. Who wants that? Stop. That's so annoying. Like, look how cringe this is. Like, who would want to buy this? Like, the ultimate vlogging kit. Like, how desperate do you have to be in life to be like, oh yeah, I want to get the ultimate vlogging kit so I can be a vlogger. Mind you, I'm very tempted to buy it myself. I just need a tripod. I've got lights, but... Oh, and my battery's gonna die. Shit. Oh, which is funny actually. Speaking of like my, my diet though, let me just kind of my face quickly. Hold on a sec. Speaking of like weight loss, eating, margaritas, all that type of stuff, being in New York, I got a question in one of my videos the other day. Found it. Okay, here it goes. So, since you've been in NY for some time now, I would love to hear what the effects of American food were like on you. I have American friends who lose significant weight in the UK but gain a bad amount of weight with American food in America. So, really curious what your experience was like. Sorry if this is random. Let me just quickly do a squat Okay. Sorry, let me just. I'm literally fighting water. Like, sorry. Okay. This was such a good question. So with me and what I found with my experience is that I actually lose a ton of weight when I'm in the States. In general, when it comes to me and food, it's only usually when I'm going through some shit, like, and I'm not in the healthiest mindset, that's when my diet will be really, really poor. So I will eat so much junk, um, I won't cook as much, I won't move around. I've realized with myself, whenever I'm going through something, it's really, really important for me to like work through it because I usually like just avoid my bullshit. I won't choose like healthier habits. What I've been learning to do is whenever I'm going through something, find healthier ways to cope and instead of using food to cope. So that's one of the reasons why mainly I gain weight. But maybe because I really like being here. I'm always generally mentally in a better space when I'm over here that's probably why I lose weight because I just don't eat as much I don't know what it is about the food over here I just get full a lot quicker the way that uh, Americans like prep their food as well that's another reason why I kind of like fall back because like even with their diet lemonades like I can taste like the sugar and it's just too much for me I feel like as I've gotten older especially within the last year and a bit like I don't know when things are just too sweet I can't take it my taste buds are just changing in general 
and also i don't drink as much as i used to like when i drink i drink tequila i stick to the same drink i like how tequila makes me feel and i can't drink anything brown like no like no i don't like the type of drunk i am when i drink brown and rum just gets me angry for some reason i don't know why and vodka makes me miserable it's only like tequila that really affects me in a positive like not in a positive way but i'm fun when i drink tequila i like the drunk version of myself when i drink tequila but also i don't drink as much as i used to as well um that's a very interesting question though that's a very very interesting question i really love that question anyway today is monday it's really random but i had a slow start today because obviously i went out last night also just so you guys know i don't like to work on mondays i don't like to do anything on mondays because you know what i don't like to buy into the idea that okay yes it's a new start of the week we must go hard and we must go in so that the week ahead is like i'm not gonna buy into societal's bull crap no mondays on my Sundays okay so I lounge around I clean I get myself together because my week always starts on a Tuesday on Monday morning I don't know why people just come in your email inbox like they're active I'm ready to work whoa 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 calm down what's the rush what's the aggro why this fake energy on a Monday why not come with this energy on friday you didn't come with this energy on friday because you know why you're too busy trying to wrap up at 3 30 so you could go out and have drinks with your work friends no we're not doing that you know me guys i'm a rebel i be always trying to challenge some shit you know in school in high school i won most rebellious girl i wasn't even that problematic so i don't really know why i won most rebellious girl like i think i just used to just not fuck with the teachers anyways oh yeah skincare so i want to put on a face cream you guys are actually resting on my kiehl's ultra face cream so i'm just gonna use the fenty skin suited to my taste and what I'm into like the equivalent what it would be in the UK like for example in the UK I would never shop in Asda okay that's not my thing okay so I don't want to be out here in New York shopping in the equivalent of like what Asda would be in the UK because I wouldn't do that so what's the waitress and the Sainsbury's over here do you know what I mean like what would be the equivalent and that's what I need to figure out